everyone, the lone wolf here and I'm currently in solitude because I had to do some of my research jobs um, and today we're going to take a look at Inferno patch 1.3 which was released yesterday um, I'm here in my trusted Ishtar uh, but first of all let's have a quick look at the changes in the chat channels so as you can see the icons have changed slightly there's now a channel settings where you can uh, change all the text options uh, the highlighting timestamps and all of that um, there's also a member list um, button which where you can uh, sh either show everyone delayed and uh, including it the new one show infantry button so that will be uh, whether or not you want to see the dust soldiers right here on the right side now there's also a dev blog released on this and let's have a quick look at that because they have a few actual screenshots with uh, dust mercenaries in there so if I go to the dev blogs and then look who's talking I can do read more and uh, there you go this is what uh, the chat channels will look like with uh, dust soldiers in there uh, clearly visible with uh, with being an, an armored soldier and then a, a blue greenish uh, tint around the portrait and his name uh, to indicate that this is a dust mercenary in the chat channel and you can either uh, leave it like that which I personally will prefer I, I would like to see whether or not they're dust soldiers in local um, yeah but uh, these are the, the major changes to the chat channel and like I said there's also a dev blog about it if you want to read all the details on it. Um, but it's a very good sign I think, patch 1.3, uh, a, a big patch towards the launch of Dust 514 on Tranquility. Um, which is of course also why they have added, uh, let me quickly see if there's anything in the region. Unfortunately, right here in Solitude, there is no. Um, there are no infantry things that have been seeded yet, so I can't show that to you guys. But I did take a look at it yesterday evening after the patch, and uh, yeah, so there's like weapons, vehicles, um, and armor modules that uh, that have been added to the market. Unfortunately, we can't buy them yet. And what's also unfortunate is, um, let's say I go for a for a ship, you'll have an info page like this, and we just add attributes which will be empty, but you can't click on it to view a 3D model of like the vehicles and the weapons yet. So uh, I would have liked to see that, but unfortunately it's not in the game at this point. Uh, and since we can't buy them really, it, it doesn't have any influence on EVE Online at the moment. But what has changed are the districts that have been added to the planet. Now it took me a, a while to figure it out uh, how to find them. Uh, but here we go, I'm, I'm in HiSec at the moment and there is a temperate planet here, namely planet 4. And if you go there all the way below you can see uh, 8 districts on this planet that I can warp to. So let's just warp to uh, district 5 which I thought was still on the light side of the planet. Um, yeah, that's the first major change is uh, is that these districts have been added to the temperate planets in high and low sec and you can simply warp to them from the planet context menu uh, like where you would find most other stuff as well so we're underway here a temperate planet and here we are as you can see um, a small district satellite is in orbit above the planet and above the district which um, is not that visible yet so let's quickly approach it and let's take a quick look at this district satellite there you go let's stop my ship for a second there that's the district satellite pointing at the district itself right there um, now I've, I'm assuming it's only when people are playing that it will be highlighted uh, so you can use the, the bombardment stuff but at the moment I haven't found any way um, to, to have the district itself highlighted on the planet but I'm assuming it's this uh, this part here that looks to have like roads and infrastructures and things like that so there is the district and there's the district satellite 
Um, this satellite will only show up on the overview when you're on grid with it um, and it will also show up when you're cloaked but um, maybe what could be interesting is to find out where it's at exactly because from the dev blog it said uh, open overview settings it said that they it had it added a group called satellites but uh, it's not uh, a group in, in in any of these types so if i'm not mistaken it was in celestials and yep there we go Cel celestials and then satellite if i undo it and the satellite's gone from my overview if i click it again the satellites are visible when i'm uh, above a district and you can also of course just right click remove satellite from overview and add satellite from overview as well um, from the planetary view i haven't been able to find oh, let's see view in planet mode i haven't been able to find um anyways to highlight the districts either so let's see maybe i can find one that looks a bit barren any visible districts in planet view? Not really. I suspect that, that these brownish patches are the districts, but as you can see, there is nothing really vi visible uh, on the planets except for the orbit of the Poco, which does look pretty cool. There it goes. And now we get a nice storm there over the ocean. Uh, but so far, as far as I've been able to tell the, the districts, this is the only way to really view them at the moment. Um, they're just a, a patch of infrastructure on this temperate planet. Uh, was that everything for uh, this patch? Well, in, in faction warfare, they are going to uh, influence how easy or difficult it is to put a, a system in um, invulnerable. Um, so yeah, the, if all the districts are owned by the faction that originally owned uh, the system, it's going to be harder for another faction to take over the system. And of course, if that faction, once the dust soldiers come in, uh, manage to take over the planet, it's going to be easier. Uh, I'm not that familiar with, um, with faction warfare myself, but uh, it's interesting to see how the districts will have an impact on faction warfare itself. Um, and uh, yeah, unfortunately I can't show you guys the infantry equipment yet in the market because I'm in solitude which apparently hasn't had any of them seeded. And uh, I think that's, that's it there uh, for, uh, for patch 1.3 so let me quickly go over the patch notes and see if I missed anything. Uh, changes to the chat, um, two buttons and then we'll, we can expect dust soldiers to show up in there. The items have been seeded to the market but can't be purchased yet. The planetary districts have been added and will have um, an impact on faction warfare once they get fought over. Uh, in fact, they will also have an impact right now because they are simply giving the ownership to all the original owners of the system. And then uh, a list of fixes uh, to character creation, uh, planetary owned structures and some other general um, graphic uh, graphic fixes now there is one major bug that has been and i'm going to go home actually and there's one major uh, bug that uh, has been uh, found and uh, tested also by ccp that is uh, that planetary view which i did just a moment ago and then the map which is f10 uh, have some serious problems when you go uh, do these views from the captain's quarters on, on high graphic settings so we're not sure what it is um, but if you plan to use the map or try and view uh, planets uh, don't do it from the captain's quarters I either go in space before you do that um, or uh, go into the ship hangar itself it shouldn't uh, be bugged from uh, when you view them from there uh, but it's just something to keep in mind and I will see you guys next time